Hey everyone, Andrew back again and welcome to another video and I am back with another horror review. Today I am here to talk about an Australian horror film from last year that's recently come out called Hounds of Love. So this is essentially a serial killer themed film and it's actually based off a true um, case from the 80s over in Western Australia in Perth. Um, this Bernie couple back in the 80s, husband and wife, would um, kidnap girls, um, keep them in the spare room in their house, tie them up to the bed and basically rape, torture and murder them. So the movie is supposedly loosely based on that according to the director and there was actually one sole survivor back then. She managed to escape and that's how the couple got caught. Um, she's actually laid a few complaints within this movie, how it's brought up unnecessary stuff from the past and it's kind of promoting this case. Um, the director's kind of come back and said that it's not really based solely on um, that particular crime and he got a lot of inspiration from other cases. Let's be real here, it clearly is. Um, it's basically a shot-for-shot -shot, um, retelling of... Um, the one that got away from back then essentially. I mean there's a few differences especially towards the end but I've seen a ton of documentaries covering this case and essentially it really is a retelling of that. There's no way to really get around it. So a lot of controversy surrounding this movie but uh, yeah it managed to get a release which is pretty awesome. So yeah essentially this is about a serial killer couple John and Evelyn White, that's what they're called within this movie, and they pick up a victim called Vicky. She's snuck out one night to go to a party against her mother's wishes, and she ends up getting a lift with this couple, and that's when things start to go really, really bad for Vicky. Um, she's held captive at their house and basically held there for the couple's sick and twisted fun. Now she slowly notices there's a lot of issues and tension between the couple and she soon works out the only way that she's really going to have any hope of escaping and surviving is if she drives a wedge between this couple. So that's essentially how the story plays out. Now on to what I thought of this film. Um, I thought this was absolutely brilliant. Definitely one of the best serial killer films that I have ever seen. Um, it was so real. It was honestly like I was there in the house experiencing exactly what Vicky was going through. The character portrayals were some of the best that I have ever seen. The um, realism and the acting was just absolutely incredible from the three main characters. Um, yeah, it was just breathtaking to watch. It was a very, very hard watch, quite an emotional watch, but yeah, from a character standpoint, um, it was amazing. Um, these characters gave it their all and it definitely showed. Um, it was a very, very realistic portrayal and um, yeah, it was a bad situation and I think it was um, captured really, really well. So that's kind of all I really want to say within this movie. Um, there's not really anything that I can fold about it. I just thought it was just an absolutely fantastic portrayal and a retelling of this really heinous, hideous case that really happened in Perth back in the 80s and it's one that um, everyone needs to check out if you're a fan of serial killer films. This is definitely one that I highly, highly recommend. It was absolutely perfectly done. So uh, yeah, if you're a fan of Snowtown especially, which is another serial killer movie from Australia based on a real crime case um, and you like that movie this is definitely one that you need to check out. Um, this one was more realistic especially from a character standpoint but there are similarities um, to this and Snowtown so if you're a fan of that I think you're really really going to get a lot out of this movie. Certainly not a film that I could watch um, on a lot of repeated viewings. It's certainly a film that you really need to be in the mood to watch because it wasn't easy. Um, I felt very, very emotionally drained when the credits rolled, but um, it's a movie that uh, I think definitely needs to be checked out by fans of this particular genre. So yeah, that has been my review for Hounds of Love. 
If you've seen this film, I'm definitely keen to hear what you thought of it in the comments section below, so let me know. And if you haven't, and you are a fan of this particular genre, Hounds of Love definitely comes highly, highly recommended. Anyway, that's been my review. I hope you've enjoyed it, and thank you for watching.